everyone, thanks for stopping by. I have another Aldi haul for you today. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'll show you what I got. Starting over here, um, this actually replaced something that was on my original meal plan, so I have to update my list before I show it to you. These um, goat cheese and roasted tomato ravioli. We actually purchased the same kind of ravioli, the same flavor, at um, Trader Joe's. Um, recently, not that long ago when we went to Trader Joe's, and this is delicious. In fact, I should have got to, ah, I hate that, you know, when you go to the store and then you think about something like that after the fact. Um, sorry, I'm kind of blocking the light. I'm standing in front of a window. But um, yeah, this flavor is delicious. It is so, so good. You don't even have to put anything on it. We sprinkled um, some Parmesan cheese on it, I think, and maybe a little bit of olive oil or something, but oh my goodness, it's so good. If you like goat cheese, it's fabulous. But um, yeah, I only grabbed one package. I might actually go back and get another one because it's only like a dollar something, and that's a really great quick dinner. Um, and then I got some center cut bacon and also some turkey bacon below there. And I got some green beans. Uh, woo! I'm just drop that off my table. A can of diced tomatoes. Some seasoning salt because I was out of it. And I use it in quite a bit of things. Some uh, garden vegetable crackers. And to go with these, I also picked up this um, cream cheese onion chive spread. That just sounded really good to me for lunch. So that's why I got that. And these I picked up in last week's haul, these brown rice garlic crackers. I ate these with um, this garlic hummus because I was trying to kick a cold. And let me tell you, that cold was gone in two days. I pumped myself full of garlic and vitamin C and I, it literally, I've never had a cold go that quickly. So, and I absolutely love this. If you, it is very, very garlicky, I will tell you that. If you um, have somebody in the house who does not like garlic, don't eat this because you will smell like garlic if you eat it. It's very, very garlicky, but it is, in my opinion, delicious because I love garlic. And my husband's probably not gonna be very happy that I got this again because I was so garlicky last week. But um, yeah, I picked up two boxes of these because these were on clearance and they only had two left. And then of course I got the hummus to go with it. I also picked up some of the sea salt pita crackers. My husband loves those. He gets those every single week and he takes them to work for a snack. They're really low calorie. A package, or a thing of, a loaf, <laughs> a loaf of whole wheat bread, um, a bunch of bananas, some good old toilet paper, um, a thing of kiwis. These were on special for a dollar, oh, maybe $1.98. But look how many's in here, guys. Like, there's, there's a ton in there. This thing's heavy. So, yeah, it says it's two pounds. So I'm excited about that. I love kiwi, so. I was excited to see that on sale. Um, a container of beef broth, some half and half for our coffee. This is coconut milk and this is our vanilla almond milk. I like coconut milk. The kids like the vanilla almond milk as a treat. And then a half gallon of uh, vitamin D milk for like their cereal and things. Some, these are my son's favorites. They were like, I don't know, $1.50 or something like that. And these were his, they're his favorite. So I just picked them up for him as a treat. Mommy was in a treat mood today. <laughs> um, back here I have some coconut chia granola. I thought that that would maybe be good with my coconut milk. So just trying it. I haven't been really eating breakfast very much and I know that that's not good. So I'm trying to have a few things that are quick. And since I don't drink um, cow's milk anymore, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, some of the multigrain like Cheerios. Uh, <laughs> my table is too full these um oven ready lasagna noodles i never ever 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 see lasagna at my aldi this is the first time i've ever seen lasagna noodles anytime i cook lasagna i have to go to another store to buy noodles so i was really excited to see these so i picked up a box of those even though it's not on the immediate meal plan um this was an impulse buy i must have been hungry or something when i went because there's quite a few impulsive things that I purchased today. These are garlic olive oil bow tie pasta crackers. I just thought it sounded really interesting. I love garlic anything. So I thought this would be like a fun snack for me. There's no GMO or anything like that in it. And um, there's 130 calories. 
per serving. So it's not too bad as far as like a cracker or a chip or whatever. I just thought it was interesting, so I'm gonna try that. And then I have some, um, oh, this was something new too. The, uh, my husband doesn't like mashed potatoes. If I make something like roast beef or something like that, um, he normally doesn't want to eat mashed potatoes. Not that he doesn't like it, but he just considers it an empty carb and he has way more self-control than me. So I buy like little packets of mashed potatoes for me if I'm making something with like gravy that I want mashed potatoes with. Well, this is new. They usually get like other brands that you can buy at other stores in as like a special item. This was 75 cents. It's the Chef's Covered, which is the Aldi brand of uh, mashed potatoes. It's the same directions. You just add two cups of water and uh, make your mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna give it a try. I figured for 75 cents, even if it's awful, it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna try this out at some point in my life. And then here I have these free and clear dryer sheets. Um, our stuff is just so staticky. I just don't even know. Maybe it's just cause it's winter, but um, I bought it because it said free and clear, free of perfumes, free of dyes and whatever. But I'm telling you guys, now that I'm home, and even when I was checking out, these smell really strong. So I don't know what they're talking about as far as perfume free. Whatever. Um, I got this V8 juice. I'm making a stuffed pepper soup. And um, the recipe that I have calls for this stuff. And they actually had V8 brand or they had just a plain tomato soup. And the recipe that I had said V8. So I this has other vegetables in it. So that's why I went with that. Um, there's the milk. We saw that. Two dozen eggs. A bag of coffee. This is just the breakfast blend. There's a package of organic avocados. These were cheaper than the regular avocados this week. Two bags of pink lady apples. A bag of mandarins. These were like two dollars for this whole bag, which is pretty cheap for mandarins. So I was excited about that. My kids love those. My husband likes them. He takes them to work. Um, this I got there's this book that my son has that it's kind of like Rice Krispie Treats, that but you make it with Cheerios and um, you put icing, you let, do a layer of the Cheerios and then a frosting in the middle and then another layer of Cheerios and make it into like bars. And he has this book with all these different Cheerio recipes and things and he's been asking me to make it for months literally and I just haven't because we just don't I don't honestly I don't like making Rice Krispie treats I don't like dealing with the mess but um he's been asking so I got the staff we're gonna make that so he'll be really excited when he, we pick him up from school and I tell him that we get to do that these are um they're live grain free gluten free little cookies I tried these last week and oh my goodness you guys they're delicious like absolutely delicious I'm not gluten free at this point in life. Um, I'm trying to work on not having dairy or at least really, really limiting dairy. Um, but these, you guys, they're so good. Even if you're not gluten free, if you are gluten free, you should definitely try these because they are fantastic. They're delicious. Um, these are my veggie straws. My kids call these puffs. That's like their potato chip snack thing. Boy, stuff's just flying off my table. These are. Um, I don't know if I showed these yet or not. I think maybe I did. But these are, um, if I didn't, these are apricots. I'm going to be making some apricot scones with those. I have some cheddar cheese slices, a bag of brown sugar because I was out. This, um, I, I'm not entirely sure why I bought this. I, <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm going to make with it. I'm planning on making um, a mushroom and cheese like crepe. And... And I saw the Gruyere part, and I was like, ooh, that would be great. Gruyere cheese with mushroom. Didn't see the Swiss part. So, I, I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. My husband doesn't like Swiss cheese. So, I don't know. We'll give it a try and see how, if he likes it. Because I've got um, some mushrooms in the refrigerator that I need to use. So, that's what I'm planning on doing with those. A package of butter. Some um, just Parmesan Romano cheese. Um, there's my garlic hummus. Boy, I'm disorganized today. Uh, zucchini. That was on sale today for like $1.50. Some cheese sticks for my daughter. And two packages of baby organic carrots. Some romaine lettuce. Some grapes. Some pickles. Um, 
And here's my yummy gelato that I got for myself as a treat. It's pistachio gelato. Mmm, I'm excited to eat that. Um, <laughs> some strawberry yogurt. I got two of those, and I got two of the uh, key lime yogurts. And then we are back around at the beginning. There's the marshmallows for those marshmallow treats. So that is the haul. And I will fix up the meal plan because, like I said, I have to make a change because I swapped out something. Uh, and then I will show you the meal plan for the okay. week. Okay. This week um, for groceries, I spent about $120. Now that is more than I normally spend. But like I said, I was in a snacky treat kind of a mood and I bought some things that I normally wouldn't have. But um, so yeah, $120. But here's the meal plan for the week. We're going to be having bacon cheddar turkey burgers, goat cheese ravioli with a side salad, cabbage roll soup with fresh baked bread, blackened tilapia with vegetables, and mushroom stuffed crepes with either a salad or a vegetable, whatever I'm in the mood for that day. So yeah, that is the meal plan for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.